Hello, Dave. I was off advertising my comic books, but I ran into a problem. Should I file Incredible Hulk under H for Hulk or I for Incredible? David Mudi. That's Mudi. M U. There you have your Mu. D I E. There you have your D. David Mudi. Oakland, California. Uh, let's see. Incredible Hulk, I or H? Gee, you know, I'm not sure, Dave. I have kind of a similar problem here. Should I file your letter under P for pathetic or L for loser? I, I can't hit the damn window anymore. For some reason, I can't hit the window. I've lost it. My wrist is gone. I don't have it anymore. It's just boom, boom. It's dead. What's the treatment for that? Nudge Mr. Windwood, would you? Oh, good. There he he's is. He's enjoying it. He has his own monitor <laughs> like over Like he here. might have been hypnotized. No, there. no, he's enjoying... <laughs> Mr. Winwood is enjoying the show. Letter number four. Dear Dave, uh, is it four? Okay, dear Dave, do you get mobbed by all of the housewives when you go grocery shopping, or do you wear a disguise? Just bored, Jason Spittler. <laughs> well, you know, I do. I pride myself on the fact that I do all of my own grocery shopping, and I uh, go, like, once a week. No, I don't have to wear a disguise. No, I don't get mobbed by housewives occasionally. Occasionally, though, housewives will come up to me. Hal, roll that videotape of the last time I was in a supermarket with the housewives. All right, watch this. Hi, free cheese. Welcome to the market. Enjoy some free cheese. It's complimentary. Free cheese? Here, try some of that. How about you? Free cheese. There you go. Try some. It's cheese. It's free. Enjoy yourself. This cheese tastes like animal urine. Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't make this stuff. I'm just passing it out. Wait, would you like some more? Yep, it's free, yeah. Yeah, all right. Free cheese. Here you go. How about you? You look like a cheese gal. Hi, how are you? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do our first commercial of the evening. If you're keeping a log at home, this will be our first commercial position. Then we'll be right back with Sandra Bernhardt. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. <laughs> And Wood is here with us this evening, also uh, Sandra Bernhardt and Max Kellerman. Max, Max Kellerman, the young, young man who is a boxing authority, has his own boxing television program and will be out here in a few short minutes to talk about the upcoming heavyweight championship bout between George Foreman and Evander Holyfield. Is this Teenage Max that you're talking about? Teenage Max, yeah. Teenage Max. Yeah. Oh, the, yes, the boxing authority. That's right. He'll be out here to talk about boxing. It's a robin. I heard a robin. That's amazing. All the way up here on the sixth floor. <laughs> when it gets quiet enough, yeah, sometimes you can, hear, you can hear from the park, I think, is where you hear that from. Let's do our uh, top ten list tonight. And, uh, from the home office in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Category, top ten most common New York City health code violations. <laughs> health code violations. Health top code ten violations. New York City health code violations. Most right. common. Here we go. Number ten. Hot dogs kept warm in street vendors' pants, number nine. Dreaded rice canisters not wearing hairnet, number eight. This will be replaced by St. Bernard who laps plates clean, number seven. Tank of live lobsters with wet hacking coughs, number six. Kitchen full of shirtless fat guys soothing sunburns with raw veal, number five. Fry cook not washing hands after strangling somebody, number four. Raymond Burr's swimming trunks found in kettle of corn chowder, number three. French onion soup thickened with Vaseline, number two. Al Sharpton's hot tub and the number one most common New York City health code violation, so-called sidewalk pate. There. Are we going to hear a lot of Steppenwolf songs tonight? We're going to hear a few Steppenwolf songs. We heard the one there, didn't we? Yeah, well, not yet, but we're going to hear a couple. Didn't we hear one? I thought we heard one. Oh, no, we heard... Oh, it is coming up. Yeah. Will, we, will there be more than one? Yeah, there may be, there may be a couple, as a matter of fact. <laughs> if you guys start working together again, I'll open for you. All right? All right. Traffic? Yeah, yeah pretty good. Sounds great. Yeah, true. yeah, terrific. Nice to have both of you guys here. Did you, are you here together? Is that what we heard? You asked him to be early? It sounds great. Yeah, nice job. And are you traveling with him at all? Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, let's see, coming up in, uh, I think things are going pretty well, don't you? Oh, man, yeah. You know, you know what they call me in uh, France, don't you? What are they? Lou Dave. Letterman. Dave. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had to stop for that. 
I'll be having an adjustment this weekend. I'm having one now. Hey, I don't know. Um, anyway, coming up on the uh, program, we have, that's the... Oh, jeez, no, I... Wait a minute, I needed that card. Oh, my... Oh, my God, oh, jeez, oh, we're in trouble now. Vicky, how are you? from London, this is John Sherman. Hey, I'm reporting from London, you jerk. <laughs> Excuse me, are those Duke boy jeans? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. We're gonna do a little piece called Dumb Ad. I love to do that. It means absolutely nothing. This is my first thumb ad. It says, love. He gave me a box of Valentine's chocolates. I gave myself glad drawstring. Lady, let me tell you something. There's such a thing as self-esteem. Thank you very much. Isn't that great? Oh, excuse me. Hello. Paul. Yeah. This is Dave. Hi, Dave. Stop what you're doing and get away from the desk. Ah, yes, sir. <laughs>